Hi there, this is Peter Kenny, uh, and I'm doing the How to Voice audiobooks course for Gravy for the Brain. And this is a little um, excerpt from the resource section on how to end chapters. So when you're working on a book and you're recording it in the studio, uh, as you approach the end of a chapter, the last paragraph or the last two sentences or one sentence, depending on the length of it, just needs to be placed a little bit more than you would when, with any other sentence. It kind of just lets the listener know we're coming up to a break or a change of beat or whatever. So you, you kind of slightly slow up and place the last few words. I'll give you an example here. Okay, so. As he finished the last word, a single arrow soared into the sky, trailing a thin furrow of smoke over the Parthian host. A mighty roar emanated from the siege lines, followed by the mass release of thousands of archers, and Vespasian knew he was about to have the veracity of his words tested as the sky went dark with tens of thousands of arrows. The Parthian assault on Tigranocheta had begun. See what I mean? I mean, I slightly overrated it there for this purpose so that you could hear it. But it's just about sort of slowing down and placing those last few words. It lets people know, right, ba -bum, we're ending that, and we're about to go to chapter nine. So that, that would be the break. Now, when you're preparing your script, be it in a book like this or on, uh, on flat sheets of paper from the, from the, the publisher, um, sometimes when you get to the end of a chapter, the pagination is right down at the bottom of the page. So it looks like you don't know, unless you signal to yourself, that it's the end of a chapter. You turn over expecting there to be more text than there isn't. So you perhaps don't do that slowing up thing. Very simple tip, just put EOC, end of chapter, at the bottom of that page, and you know, right, I just need to wait those last few sentences a bit to mark that it's the end of a chapter. Great tip.